Good morning, everybody. It was a late night last night, and uh, it is fairly early this morning. Um, I've decided to take the opportunity to reconnect my Barlow lens with my Nikon to uh, my telescope to see what the sun would look like with the Barlow with my Nikon. Um, yeah, let's try that. It's not pretty. I had to mount my camera on an angle in order to get the cable to connect. My counterweight was in the way, uh, but I do have my imaging chain, train, imaging train connected. Visual back, Barlow, T adapter, T ring, with the CPL filter in between, the length of the camera. Now I should have used my high contrast filter now that I think about it. Maybe I'll try that a bit later. Video log the next day. I'm trying to take some solar pictures with uh, Barlow lens. Um, but I've got all these seeds falling through the air, which are getting into my uh, dew hood and everything else. Not only is my telescope a light bucket, but it is an actual bucket. I have my camera connected. Turns out I had accidentally switched off uh, the camera's USB connection in my USB hub. Hey everybody, so I connected my uh, Nikon back to my scope so that I could use my Barlow. This is uh, the view of the sun through my Barlow, through my Nikon. I couldn't use my Barlow uh, with my ASI because uh, I have a one and a quarter inch Barlow at the moment. So here's the sun. Uh, see if I can get that a little bit more in focus. Maybe reduce my ISO. Play around with my shutter speed. We need a fast shutter, I think. I don't know if this will work. I've seen some phenomenal solar... Uh, videos but I'm just using the Celestron uh, solar filter I don't know if that's enough or if this camera is enough the Sun is very bright I need a camera that can that can really fine adjust to those those tiny differences I don't know if I have enough fidelity in in the setup mm, that's an emergency readiness alert. I'm sorry, this is not with the CPL filter. This is with, with the moon filter. 
the newer moon filter. Is it making a difference? Hard to say. That seems fairly in focus. Again, I don't know what that spot is on my filter. And we're not seeing any of the detail of the surface of the sun, just the sunspots. Again, lowered expectations. But still kind of cool. Alright, well, thanks for watching.